what's up YouTube welcome back to another video um, today what I'm gonna be doing for y'all is installing um, silicone tubing for my intake uh, and it goes straight from the intake to the stock air box uh, took a little while because Amazon kind of messed up my order and I'm gonna put y'all on the spot Amazon don't do this again but let's get into the video guys I'm gonna go ahead and put that on for you thank you for watching like and subscribing please continue to follow the content and give me more comments to, to really you know get the content going thank you guys and let's get into it Mishimoto, Mishimoto. the world's leader in performance cooling products so we got here guys intake tube this is silicone a little bit thicker so it keeps the air that's coming through a lot cooler um, and so again, cooler air, at least a little bit better performance, a little bit better noise. And where are your clamps? Silicone tubing to the stock air box. Worth it overall because it's going to help gas mileage as well. Help the uh, acceleration, especially with the throttle. Uh, throttle response, air getting to the throttle a little bit better. A little easier because there's no ridges on it. And then, like I said, also keeping that air cool. All right, guys, let me show you what I got going on here. So, for starters, um, when you're trying to install these intake tubes, um, you'll have to remove your strut bar if you have one attached. I already removed all of the screws, the bolts that go on it. Um, so, now at this point, simple pull the strut bar out and pretty much just set it to the side wherever you need to. As far as here, uh, what you'll have to do is you have a bolt here, actually an eight millimeter. So what you can do, is get your wrench, eight millimeter. You see, it should be loosening up at this point. And then you also have one right up here. Go ahead and take that one off as well. Simple. What you go ahead and do, go ahead and pull that off. It kind of quiets your car, so it'll stop a lot of that noise that you get uh, from the intake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually remove that as well. Simply pull that up um, and just make sure you got your clearance. Pull it out. So again, there's the baffle. Uh, so it's not something that you necessarily need and a lot of people take them out i'm gonna take mine out especially because i want i want to make the car a little bit louder um i like i like the vq noise itself but once you start doing intakes and um, different things to enhance that sound you want to kind of make that sound um, as prominent as possible so again this so guys as uh, you get the product in your hand make sure that you got your two clamps um, again, you can use regular bolts to tighten these down, um, and then it just places essentially right here in between your, your uh, stock air box and your throttle body. Again, kind of fit something like that. So back to check in on the progress. Um, got the right side fully in. And I'll tell you what, as a review on this product, I'd say that it fits pretty decent. Um, it's definitely a little too long uh, for, uh, for the engine bay right now. I do have spaces on my throttle bodies too. Um, so that might be causing a little bit of that, uh, you know, like that space discomfort. But all in all, it looks like it fits pretty good. I got this side on, um, need to tighten it down just a little bit more. And got this side for the most part on. Again, they were both kind of a struggle. I'd say if you if you could just cut off maybe, 
about an inch or maybe a half an inch and maybe angle it too um, because the angle from here down to here it's it's a little brutal as you can see it's kind of kind of uneven in the way it sits but it's okay as long as these are tight again that's what I'm doing right now and again just make sure it's for the most part airtight uh, whatever you see fit to be airtight it's up to you your own interpretation but if it's not airtight then you will throw a code when you start the car up so that can be problematic again usually when you do throw a code you know uh, it's just because you're leaking air um, from one of the spots in there pretty tight you'll need for the job uh, you will need a 10 millimeter um, and you'll also need an 8 millimeter for your original bolts and then if you still have the um, strut bar on uh, you will need a 13 millimeter for that to, in order to take that off um, other than that I did use a 10 millimeter to take the cover of the engine bay off as well again just to give me a little bit easier access uh, to this right here because essentially when you put it on uh, you're gonna have to uh, put this on as well and it's kind of hard to push it up when you have the engine cover um, blocking you off and what you'll do you'll just throw your engine cover back on again make sure that you still got your all your bolts for that it's 10 millimeters tip I would say uh, it's definitely a tip is leave your bolts that you unscrew these clamps with facing up uh, because if you don't and you have it facing down then that will be a struggle when you go to try to take it off because you can't get under there um, and then as far as tightening you won't be able to do that when you're under there either um, and then again if you're like at a weird angle sometimes you won't be able to snake the um, the wrench and the socket onto the actual bolt so that could be a, another problem that you run into strut bar on uh, so let me go ahead and throw this uh, strut bar back on and pretty much just hand tighten it down a little bit these things just not even just not losing the bolt uh, but you'll actually have to and I can't record this you'll actually have to do a double grip um, so again final product with the strut bar, making racing, shout out, and shout out to Mishimoto. You got my engine bay looking pretty, pretty clean. Can't be mad at that, I like the blue in there. Uh, guys, let's go ahead and start her up. Okay, it started up with a little bit of a deeper sound. She's already warm for the most part. Let's give her a little rev. Reaction, it definitely reacts just a little bit better uh, than normal. So, <laughs> I think she's a little bit quicker too. So I might have gained a few horsepower. I don't, I don't really think that there's much of a difference as far as horsepower, which typically with something as minor as this, you don't get a, a huge amount of horsepower. But it's, it's something that to consider overall because I, I don't look at the, the smaller picture. I look at the bigger picture when it comes to uh, making this thing as fast as possible. Um, but reaction time was definitely a lot better. It feels a little bit peppier. Um, throttle, thr uh, throttle response itself is just a lot better. And then the noise and the, the look of it. Um, that, that jump, um, 
when I actually put my foot on the pedal just it made made all the difference. Um, so all in all, I think if, if somebody wanted one of these, um, wanted to do, to keep their stock air box, but get an aftermarket, I guess tube in and intake and um, throttle body spacer, especially for the G37 or something like that, I think that it's it's definitely worth it. I think you would get just about the same amount of power if you were to do a cold air intake or anything like that. Um, so again, I, I do think that this right here is um, worth the buy. The installation time, maybe 10 minutes max, 10, 15 minutes max. So it's not something that's hard to do. Um, again, I, I definitely recommend it. Um, I feel like this, <laughs> this thing can push my car for me. Gives a little bit of spool too, so it kind of sounds like it has a turbo or, or something like that. I Man, just stopped in the middle of the damn road. What's going on, buddy?